Peace and blessings, everyone. I was wondering the other day, just uh, yesterday, I was out and about. Saturday, actually. Um, so I'm wondering if I'm racist. And the reason I began to wonder is, and I'm actually wondering seriously if I am. Um, if I am, I don't know it. What it is, uh, what triggered it, I was at a Walmart and there were some Boy Scouts out there selling Boy Scout cookies. When I came out, one of the Boy Scouts said he knew my son. He said hi and he said he knew my son, but not the way to him. So, as I was walking away, I had actually been thinking about um, recently putting my two youngest sons in Boy Scouts, my, uh, my six-year-old and my ten-year-old. But, but the thing is, when I was looking into the troops around here, I, I began to get worried about the fact that all the troops are going to be either all white or predominantly white. I mean, and, and, and really that's not anything unnormal from when my kids are involved in sports out here. They're usually either the, the only black kid or one of the two or three, you know, one, two or three totals on the team. Because I, I live in suburbs here in, in Southern California. Um, so, you know, we blacks really are the minority here. And and so, like I said, I became aware of him just constantly being immersed into these constant groups of total whiteness. Um, last year, I wanted to sell my house and actually move to Atlanta or somewhere around maybe the outskirts, suburbs, middle class area, because I want to be around more blacks. Now, I've lived out here for seven years. Right? It's, it's a great area. No, but I'm actually starting to miss being around my black people. Right? And I feel there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, obviously, if I had something against whites, I wouldn't move out here in the first place. But it's actually me missing being around my people. And not to be around to hang out. It's just being able to walk in a place and see them, mostly them, not seeing one here and there. You know, it just, I mean, I grew up in the black community, went to black schools, so, you know, that's what I'm familiar with, used to, I don't know. Um, that's how I grew up. And so, like I said, recently I just come and really miss that, just to be around them. And I became worried about my kids not growing up within the culture of blacks you know and that's the question what the black culture is and how they might gain a, a bias against blacks in some manner because of growing up around predominantly whites and having mostly all white friends and when I when I was a kid my father was actually a married to a white woman for several years so I, I grew up um, like I said, what was that? From about second grade to fourth fourth grade. I guess he married to her for two years. But I went to a predominantly white school in a second fourth grade. Fourth grade, I'm sorry. Excuse me. All my friends, my best friends were white. Um, Kiss was my favorite group. I even went to a Kiss concert. You know, so that's when I kid. So I mean, I know Ultimately, no. I, I'm not racist because basically I have white family. Um, my stepmother's white. My brother and sister, Mickey and Trisha, who are still considered, even though my, uh, my father's divorced from her. Brother and sister, they're still family. All right? So, like I said, ultimately I know I'm not. But I wonder, maybe deep down, maybe I could be considered that. Or I'm wondering if that can, if 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 how I'm feeling could be considered that. Like I said, I just I'm worried about the immersion uh, and how that might affect how they look at black people when they're grown when they're grown up, right? Not being around them, their ability to 
to uh, to relate to other blacks. Blacks coming up from a more uh, lower class situation, and it's overall, you know, even here they get plenty of it. Um, I listen to rap more, basically more than anybody else. They get it from listening to me, watch BET, uh, Yo M, yeah, I'm about to say Yo M T V raps, Rap City, uh, Freestyle Friday. So uh, that's what my kids listen to. You know, we R and B, hip hop, all that's listened to, but still. You know, it's different. That's just here at home. But when they go out, like I said, they, they're with their friends, it's the music changes and, it's, and it's, it's changing to a different culture. Then, well, then they have to ask myself, well, what culture can be taken away from them? What is the black culture? You know, <clears throat> can they basically, I guess, whitewashed? That'd be a word. What is what is the black culture? And what could be taken away? You know, what is what does it mean to be black? Here in America, and that's really a hard question, you know. And I don't know. Right now, we de identify ourselves, I guess, with hip hop more than anything else. But I mean, we have created so many genres of music. You know, what is it? Is being black just a simple having that beat within us? Is that black? What is it? And can that be taken away? And you know, that's, that's a problem with us blacks here in America, is knowing truly who we are and identifying with ourselves, having a knowledge of self, because it was taken from us so long ago. Well, I don't know, that was, like I said, just my thoughts when I was wondering. Because somebody actually accused me of being a racist here on YouTube. Um, it actually stemmed from the Michael Vick video because of what I've seen in like a big video and really all I was standing up for was the truth um, but he got from that that the reason for me making a video is because I was racist now, I'm not sure how he got it from the Michael Vick video I didn't say anything about whites doing something or I don't know but I want to share with you my thoughts right. God bless peace and love